At St. John's College, we work in positive partnership with our students to hear their thoughts and ideas so they feel valued and empowered in their educational journey. We encourage our students to be part of our decision-making processes so we can have a positive impact for the common good of the school and that they can feel confident when they leave St. John's College as informed and active citizens in the wider society. I think it's very important to listen to our First Nations students' voice because when we do this, when I listen, I need to understand their culture, but I need to understand um, where our students um, need their support. So by listening and also um, having a, an understanding of their identity, then I'm able to give that uh, care and support, but also to meet the students where they're at. It's very motivating to see our students grow and to also see our First Nations students families um, on this journey with them as well. We've really grown as a school to bring it into our community. We've had days where we'll have weaving and, and, and ditch playing and, and talking down at our prayer space. And it's not just for Indigenous students, it's for people who want to come down and, and have a look and learn and experience what it's all about. Everyone learning together is really important for me personally because I feel like that's how we move forward and that's how we come together. Mandy's work here is so important. She's just got a beautiful way about her of building those relationships. She really understands the importance of building relationships as part of First Nations culture. She's done that to ensure that student voice is heard and that they feel really culturally safe here and to be able to voice what they would like to see happening here. Just some amazing initiatives, not just for our First Nations students, but for the whole school. I created the design of the tie, which is now a permanent part of the school uniform given to our year 12 leaders. And the meaning of the tie is the white dots represent the different communities and the yellow and blue dots represent the different parts of the school and how they all come together creating our school college. Indigenous people's voices haven't been heard over the years and this was a way for my voice to be heard and represent the culture and to represent what the Indigenous culture is all about, showing that Indigenous people do have a voice today. Both of my grandparents, like they have both passed away so I could never talk about like my culture with them or anything and my parents weren't, didn't really know much because it wasn't really something that they talked about. Coming to this school and learning all that dance and everything, I really got to learn a lot about my culture and I've fallen in love with it. The impact is so positive for our First Nations students to be able to see that they feel comfortable here regarding who they are with identity, but also connecting to culture. The courage they show by sharing their knowledge with other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students, but also to the whole community is inspiring. Mm -hmm.